They're an often invisible workforce, but they play a critical role in the fight against COVID-19. Medical lab technologists are the frontline workers processing hundreds of tests each and every day. A new crop of students just graduated here from Toronto's Michener Institute. Earlier today, I spoke to a number of them about what it's like entering the workforce at such an unprecedented time. Well, it all happened so fast, it's been hard to even process, to be honest. Chantel Senes is one of 62 new graduates. Having just passed her licensing exam two weeks ago, she's already on the front lines of the coronavirus fight. So we got hundreds of samples a day from multiple different locations, not only Mount Sinai, but we service other hospitals as well, even overflow from Public Health Ontario. Fresh graduates are a welcome site for labs across the province. As COVID-19 testing ramps up, the volume of tests coming in means the pressure for a quick turnaround continues to mount. Of course, as more patients become infected or potentially infected and have to be tested, that number will continue to go up for several weeks yet. So all in all, that just amounts to a burden on labs that were already short-staffed. Uh, we're always playing catch up. We're, we're never ahead of the curve. Canada has been suffering from a significant shortage of MLTs since before the pandemic began. Bridge says there's a gap of about 400 MLTs per year between those retiring and those entering the workforce. Adding to the burden is the fact that existing MLTs had to learn proper testing protocol for the new virus on the job. There's just a lot of steps that are not automated. So I think that it's important for the public to realize that it's not as easy as sticking it into a machine and the results pop out immediately. Michener has increased enrollment by 25% over the past five years to help meet demand. Bridge says of the recent crop of grads, about a third are directly involved in microbiology, including COVID-19 testing, a much higher proportion than in typical years. Especially with this COVID-19 pandemic, it definitely, and being in micro specifically right now, it feels like I'm definitely doing my part. There's more purpose to your job, I guess, because you're finally getting recognition for the work that you do. Now, as much as MLTs are needed across the province, current students here at Michener have an added challenge. Their classes, too, have been cancelled and moved online. I asked Peter Bridge whether he believes this will have an impact on their ability to graduate on time. He says it is going to be a big hurdle, but believes they'll get through it. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.